Happy Friday, February 9th, 2024. It's another good release day. A uh, couple things that are dropping today that I'm excited about that I want to talk about. But of course, I'm not going to get to everything that released today. So I know I'm going to miss something. Uh, I checked the list on Model Archives of what was dropping today. I checked K-Man Riffs on Twitter. And these are the ones that I pulled out that I know I can talk about, that I know I'm excited about. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to listen to a couple of other things I've never heard of. Um, you know, I like finding those unknown underground bands I've never heard of. Um, that's why release days are always fun for me. Uh, so if I don't call out something in this video, put it in the comments. Uh, because again, I, I'm... 100% sure I'm not going to get through everything. But today's a good release day. Um, I know I didn't do this last Friday. Last Friday, I think there may have been like one release that I was uh, anticipating. So I didn't want to do like just one video, one, a video just on one release. But I'll try to do this every Friday. No promises. Uh, if it's just not looking like a great day for it, then I just probably won't upload. But anyway, let's go ahead and start. So the first thing that I think everybody knows is dropping today in the death metal space the extreme metal scene is the new spectral voice album Sparagmos out on dark descent records um i did a review of this on heavy metallurgy that link will be in the description i also showed off the vinyl record of this a couple of days ago uh, i think it was on monday that will be link will be in the description um great album absolutely love it i think it's a it's a good sophomore album from them uh, and I'm excited. So yeah, this is their second full length album, Black and Death Metal, with a lot of other different extreme metal genres thrown into this album. Uh, very, very good step forward. Uh, and I'm, yeah, so check it out. Um, also, MSUO is putting out the European uh, distros for it, I think, or they might have pressed things. I can't remember. But if you're looking for it over in Europe, I know that they had copies of them. I don't know if it's sold out. Don't hold my word for it. But yeah, links will always be in the description of where you can listen to this, where you can buy this. Um, but great album. I think that's probably like the bigger release for me today anyway. Um, but the next one is another 20 bucks spin release, Holder, uh, with her second album. It is called Versus in Oath. Uh, I also did kind of a review of this several weeks ago. Um, so link will be in the description for that. Also, Ben Brain Smasher did a review of this on the Heavy Metallurgy channel. Link will be in the description for that too. He did a great review on it. So this is the Black Metal uh, project out of the US. Um, she now has like a full backing band before it was just her one man or one woman, Jesus, one woman uh, black metal project, but now there's a whole entire band. Uh, the album is very good. I do really like it. Um, and yeah, so if you're into Holder, if you're excited about this new album, definitely worth a listen. Uh, if you don't like Holder, hey, cool. You know, hey, not everybody likes the same stuff. So uh, that's the second release today. The third release is a bit of a, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I think this is a little bit of the uh, underdog release for today with those two heavy hitters. Uh, but I, I have not listened to it yet, so I'm going to be honest with you, but I really, really liked their first album. That is Petrification uh, with Sever Sacred Light. Uh, so yeah, Petrification is a band out of the U.S. They're a death metal band. Their first full length, Kahalo of the Void, came back out in 2018. So it's been quite a while since they've they've released an album. Uh, so yeah, this one was kind of like flew under the radar just a tiny bit for me. I forgot it was coming out until I started looking into it this week about when it would be out. Um, and yeah, it's on out on Spart Records. Um, excited to listen to this. Like I said, I really, really liked their first album. Um, so yeah, this is one that I'm going to be spinning today. Uh, well, not spinning, but listening to uh, on the streaming platforms, uh, probably Bandcamp. And uh, yeah, so yeah, check this out. This band is pretty good. Uh, you know, nice little, nice little under the radar release today. Uh, I have a feeling I'll probably really enjoy this album. So, and then finally, the last one that I want to talk about, which I did not realize this was today. For some reason, I thought it was later on in the month. Um, definitely going to check this out. Uh, my, I don't, I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard the singles or anything like that. So again, I'm flying in a little bit blind here in terms of the sound and, and if it's good or anything like that. But the new Bor Morbid Saint album is out today, Swallowed by Hell. Uh, this is their first full length since 2015, um, but we all know Morbid Saint as the the thrash metal legends from the the amazing albums that they put out in the early 90s. Obviously, Spectrum of Death is their one that they're most known for. That is obviously a, a iconic thrash album. Something that I always tell people like if you're into thrash metal, you have to own that album. So uh, they're back. 
with this new album. I had not heard anything yet, so I don't know how it sounds, but uh, I thought that was pretty cool to see that they're, uh, you know, they're releasing new music. Uh, this album is out on High Roller Records. So two albums today, but I'll be listening to uh, Petrification and Morbid Saint. Um, curious to know if anybody's heard them yet. I know it's uh, pretty early in the morning right now, so I've got all day to do this, but those are the releases that I'm excited for today. Uh, a lot of good, good stuff out there. Um, but again, I know I didn't get to everything. I know that there was probably like 30 or 40 other drops today. So in the comments, comment what I should check out. Uh, let everybody know. Um, and yeah, that's all I have. Everybody have a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next one.